Hey, Sean. Hey, Josh. Hey, uh, I've got uh, our chief business officer and our head lawyer here, one and the same. Okay. And uh, we need to chat with you for a minute. Hey, pal. Okay. Uh, so I, I just got a text from someone in my medical department uh, basically saying that you called them for a, quote, formal request for all of Diego's pre-fight medical records paper copy, unnecessary post-fight records, every physician that he has ever been evaluated by. By the way, we have no control over any of that. That's all commission done. So you'd have to make those requests formally with the commission. But more importantly, with the direct quote that I received was, uh, you stated that the quote, long-term effects of Diego being an MMA fighter were your basis for requesting it. Yeah. So I, I went through this with Mark Hunt and here's the reality. If you're concerned or he's concerned that he's having negative effects, then we're not going to fight him. And I'm going to pull the fight right now and we're going to call it a day and we'll release him and he can go do something else with his life. Because I'm not putting anybody in that cage that doesn't feel 100 percent or thinks they're suffering from any medical issues. Well, it has more to do with how is his physical body and all the treatments that he's had over 17 years of injuries in his hands, his face, and all over his body that I'm referring to that if he needs medical attention after his career, how is he supposed to move on without medical records as that's what I'm concerned about. That's all it is, is that if he has to go see another doctor about his hip or his back or any of these things, how, how is that doctor, why would we have to pay for new imaging, new everything when it should be on file? Well, I don't understand because what the problem is. He's having a new issue related to something. He's going to have to get new imaging anyway. So what wouldn't the old imaging matter to understand how to treat him? I mean, I, I don't understand. Why wouldn't him? Why wouldn't an athlete need his medical images saying, of his injuries that he's acquired <laughs> over years? Like, I don't understand That's what all. the real problem is. Asking it, about there's that. Nothing, there's nothing. It doesn't go through us. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I didn't call, by the way, to formally ask for that. We called to understand about these medical requests being given at four weeks or less and a mandate on the speed of it while I'm in travel, while we're in the middle of a fight camp. And if if they are up on the five year and the three year requirements, why weren't we able to go do these, I don't know, 10 weeks ago, 12 weeks ago when we scheduled the fight. So you not, this, that's all I'm saying is I was trying to understand that. Now I had the medical on the phone and I said, hey, while you're here, can we now ask for these uh, things so that Diego knows all his injuries from over his career and that's it. That's all it is. Like, I don't, yeah. that's all. Just to be yeah. as here's what, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'll send an email to you guys. I'm going to express my concerns. Okay. I need a confirmation in writing that he's physically able to compete. He's not suffered any ill effects of being an MMA fighter. He doesn't feel like he has any brain issues or cognitive issues. I got to go through the whole battery that I go through with everybody that sort of makes a claim that you, at least they're telling me that you made in this situation. And if he's not comfortable doing that, then we pull the fight and we move on. It's very simple. Yeah, I we're already, I already called Taylor today yeah. and we're already having her schedule all of the medicals to be done starting on the 12th when we return to Albuquerque, sir. So we're like trying to comply. I'm in the middle of travel. I'm trying to have help from your side since the requirements are coming now to be done in three weeks and we still have two other pieces of travel in our camp. And this is all I'm saying is uh, we could have complied to this very easily 10 weeks ago. That's all I'm saying, sir. And okay. But we're talking different issues now. Okay. Well, That's whatever that. issues you got, we'll do whatever you need, man. There is no issues on our side. I asked for the same medical things. If he had a bloody nose, why wouldn't we want the records of all these things? I mean, he's about ready to leave the UFC and, and how would we be able to ask for all this stuff later? So as asking formally, as I don't get to speak to very many people in the UFC, and I thought, hey, I might as well say this at this moment, now all of a sudden it's, a, it's an interesting deal? Like, cool, man. 
We'll jump through whatever hoops you need. Diego is 100% fine, as he is here with me right now. Um, he's fine, man. Everything's good. So I mean, you understand my position, right? I can't ever be in a situation where 10 years from now I got a guy that's drooling on himself in a hospital and I got another guy saying, yeah, we told the UFC before his last fight that he was having some, all these issues and they put him in there anyway. Gotcha. I understand yeah. that totally. Hey, let me... Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. That's cool. So, okay. yeah, just go ahead and send me an email. Send me and let me know whatever you need us to do. And, uh, well, absolutely. Everything's good on our side. I simply have been misunderstood because when he's got hands, he's got little tears and breaks. I need to know to what capacity we need to work on fixing and healing his joints once his career's over. That's what I'm looking at. And I need to know when we start to take him to orthopedic and we go into bio accelerator and we've already had stem cell, like there's a lot going on, boss. That's all. I just needed to know. And he's concerned because, you know, he, it's a yeah, lot, yeah. a lot of time. He, he, he's having, uh, you know, I'm like, and, and, when, and just, you know. I know you have around for the, the entirety of it, but between Dana, Sean, me, the, the people here that really, matter and move things and you know control the fight business aspect of this if diego needs anything all he has to do is pick up the phone and call sean and reach out and the answer is he's we're going to take care of him so if he's got a hand okay. something that the last thing that i want him fucking worried about is a year from now he's got something wrong with his hand and you know let me know that's okay. all you got to do okay phone, see and this and this is all i needed was an open line of communication because there really hasn't been much and that's why i'm asking about things because I'm just new to the situation and Diego's, uh, you know, telling me he's had boo-boos for the, you know, his whole career. I'm like, well, I'm dealing with your hip now. I'm dealing with your hand right now. Like, okay, what, what else we have we accumulated? You know what I mean? And that's all that type of thing. So anyways, just, uh, yeah, send me whatever I need to do and we'll get it done as soon as possible. All right. Thanks, Josh. Yes, sir. All right. Bye.